the recording here. Uh, so first of all, uh, the reason why we're meeting tonight is some of you are interested in the uh, uh, Stock Guy 22 mentoring. Uh, we did it a few years back. Last year I was just too busy and I couldn't uh, uh, I couldn't do it. I was out of the country and, and uh, busy with another business venture that I was starting. So I wasn't sure how much time I was going to be able to commit to a seven-week mentoring. Uh, so this year I had a bit more time uh, lined up. We we're going to do it in the summer and I got uh, busy during the summer with another project I was working on. And we finally decided that we had uh, some time that we'd uh, all commit, all three of us, uh, till the end of December. Uh, well, till the middle of December is going to come out to me. So it's going to be seven weeks in total. We might add an extra week depending on how the information goes, the Q&A that we get. Uh, uh, you guys are going to get some uh, assignments that you'll be working on. Tonight I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, what you'll be able to learn and get out of it, out of a session like that. So it's a, it's a commitment in time on your part, but you're going to get tons and tons of information from us, uh, from starting out in trading to more advanced stuff. Okay. So the reason why I put that, that it fast tracks your success, is because with anything that you uh, decide to uh, take seriously, when you have a mentor that helps work with you, and can teach you the ropes, uh, you end up fast-tracking your success. So you see this uh, happening in, in all types of industries, right? So when a doctor works under the doctors and, and does their uh, 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 their time that they're going to put in at the hospital, that's where they're really going to learn. They can learn so much out of the books, but then the real work is and the real knowledge comes from learning from other doctors and top doctors. So you can learn from mediocre doctors, but you want to learn from people that are a little bit better than than the average uh, uh, doctor out there. Same thing goes with uh, if you want to be an or a lawyer when you're doing your articling, that's where you're going to start to learn a lot of the stuff. You can learn all the stuff that you can in books, uh, but the real knowledge comes from actually working on cases and working on files and working with other lawyers and how to handle people. Okay, Whether it's a carpenter, uh, doctor, lawyer, even in business, uh, that's really where you're going to learn a lot is when you have a, a mentor that can help you along the way uh, and it just speeds up your success rate and you fast tracks your success. So I'll uh, tell you a little bit more about me tonight. For those of you, some of you already know, I know some of you in here that uh, I've talked to before, but some of you may not know who I am. Okay, So I'll, I'll give you a little rundown on uh, who I am as a trader. Some of you might know, well, he's probably a pretty good trader, but I don't know much about him. Uh, especially for some of you that are listening to this uh, webinar and recorded version. Uh, you may have heard about me or maybe you've been following me on Twitter for a while or you're a member of the group. Okay, um, you, you may not know all this stuff. So I'll, I'll point out some stuff and I did this uh, in the past. So I'll start with this uh, little presentation and then we'll get more into the uh, seven-week mentoring. So first, uh, who am I? Who is Stock Guy 22? So I'm Stock Guy 22, and I've been trading for uh, quite a while. I started my first trade in 1985. I was still in university then. So I've been trading for quite a while through different markets, not always full time. When I first started, I was just trying to learn the market. I really don't, didn't know much about it. I read some uh, articles and books about it, and I knew some people dabbled in the markets and uh, if you were supposed to be successful, you better put some money in the market. You better put some money in real estate. You better start a business because if you work for someone, you're not going to make enough to retire on. So I started quite a while ago. Okay, So I've seen all different types of markets. When I was trading, there was no online trading. It was just you call your broker, he gives you information, and and then you, for the most part, you look in the newspaper or you would call your broker to get a quote. Uh, what the what the stock was at uh, at any particular time during the day. We we didn't have the knowledge and the data that we have now, which a lot of traders actually take advantage of, uh, that they don't know how good uh, this actually is for us. Oops. So let's get to the next slide. So again, I'm an individual trader. Uh, I trade my own money. I've got a passion for trading. I enjoy helping others, mentoring them. So if uh, you've ever had a mentoring session with me, you know what, uh, you probably got quite a bit out of it in just uh, an hour or two that we met. 
Uh, if you never have, uh, that's open to you. If you become a member of the group, I usually uh, uh, email people that are interested to get together with me and I can give them uh, some guidance of uh, uh, at least where to start out based on their particular situation because it's different for everybody. No one's going to trade like me. Uh, no one's going to trade like uh, how you're going to trade. Uh, your time commitment, your bankroll is going to be a lot different. So you have to tailor a, a trading style that's going to suit you best. Okay. And I feel like I'm respected and trusted online uh, based on uh, not just the number of followers, but a lot of the other uh, great sites that I admire and traders that I admire that, uh, that have followed me for quite a few years as well. Okay. So I've done tens of thousands of trades over the years. Um, like I, said, I was saying, I started my first trade when I was university. Uh, one of my most successful trades during that time was I turned 1,000 into 138,000. It was over uh, eight years. Uh, some of you may have heard this story before, but I had bought into Microsoft early on. Uh, more because the year that I was in university, you had to actually buy a computer. And we were using Microsoft 1.0. We were using the floppy disk drives. And I'd read an article about Microsoft, and I thought, wow, that's a good business. Uh, if everybody is going to buy these uh, floppy disk drives, uh, everybody's going to make money. Uh, they're going to make money from all these students. I never thought about the business aspect. I never thought about the home computer business. I was just thinking how it applied to students. So it was a very small uh, mindset that I had at the time based on that, but I got lucky that I bought it. Cost me a lot of money. It wasn't like what we pay now, you know, dollar to five ninety five for a trade. Back then it cost me almost ten percent. I put in a thousand bucks, it cost me uh, almost a hundred bucks and my friend was giving me a deal. So you couldn't like just buy and sell a particular stock. You had to buy and hold for a long period of time. And I actually ended up holding it for over eight years and it went up to uh, 138,000 for me. It doubled and split every year. So I went from 1,000 to 2 to 4, uh, 8, 16, 32. It's almost like clockwork. It would uh, split almost every year. As soon as it hit 100 bucks, it would split. And it wasn't really life changing money till the, till the final few years. And I actually didn't need the money. I was doing really well in business. So I didn't have any uh, inkling to take it out. Initially, if I know what I know now, I might have actually taken that money out when it doubled or when it tripled. Okay, and in this case, it was a nice long-term, longer-term play, and it was more luck than skill or anything like that. Okay, but that was one of my first successful trades. I also had bad trades, where um, I remember just before the 1987 crash, uh, a few friends uh, got together. We we pulled some money, like many traders do. And when they first start out, and we pulled uh, 500 bucks each, we were trading IBM options, which we had no clue how they moved, but our friend was a broker, so we trusted him with, with uh, the money, and uh, we would do monthly contracts going out. And we actually got the account up to 10000 We took our investment out, uh, plus a little bit more, and we let the rest ride out. We thought we were going to be millionaires in six months, because it was just too easy. And the 87 crash came, and uh, we lost it. Whatever we had, we lost it all. So I kept my Microsoft position going uh, through that whole time. And um, uh, I wasn't initially not that interested in the market. Uh, I actually got excited when I started to listen to a friend that used to work on the stock exchange floor. And he was telling me uh, how he lost his job after the 87 crash. And we started talking. He said, you know, there's a lot of guys... A lot of guys that got wiped out during that time, him included, because the, the brokers would give them uh, cash to trade with. They weren't making very much money. I think at the time it was making about twenty two or 23000 a year. But they would get margin that they could use to buy stock, and they could buy right on the floor. So it was very easy for these guys to make money, especially on news-driven plays. But he told me about a guy that was actually waiting for that 1987 crash to happen. And it happened in different markets. Uh, uh, I, I actually spoke to someone in Chicago that somebody was doing that during that time too. So it was actually interesting. I was a member in a group that uh, that worked in a pit there. And when I told that story, he said, you know, same thing happened in, during that time in Chicago and happened uh, uh, in New York as well. 
Uh, and these people were actually waiting for these type of opportunities. I thought, wow, that's interesting. So that guy, those guys made a pile of money. Uh, the guy made a pile of money waiting for that big crash, which a lot of people got wiped out. And I started to realize as I started to get involved in real estate that that was the time to buy, like when everybody wasn't interested and when traders weren't interested in stocks or individual positions, as long as the companies were sound, that's the time to buy. And that actually is the basis for a lot of my trading, how I've done it over the years. And uh, it's actually worked well for me. Okay. But I've had good and bad trades through my trading career. Okay. Uh, on Twitter, some of you might know me just from Twitter, but I've actually been around online for quite a few years. Um, I actually used to be involved in the, in other message boards. Uh, and I had a big following on there as well, over 10,000 people. So some people actually that are following me now used to follow me back then. A lot of people don't know that. They think, uh, well, how did this guy get all these followers? Uh, but I've been online for quite a while. Uh, I was actually one of the first traders on Twitter in 2009 to actually post my screenshots for my trades. That was a good thing and a bad thing. So it was good that it got me a lot of people, uh, got a lot of people interested in following me. The disadvantage was a few times I actually left my account information on the on the uh, screenshot, and I actually had to go back and make sure that the, I didn't leave any other information. But somebody tried to hack my account because they figured, oh, this guy's got money, and uh, somebody tried to uh, clean out my account when I said, oh, I'm going on vacation, and that's actually when they tried to do it. So very smart uh, <laughs> hackers out there. Uh, so you got to be careful what you share online. Uh, but it's been a good thing and a bad thing. So, it's you know, they say it's a blessing and a curse. Well, that's what happened with this, uh, that I actually one of the first traders to actually post uh, uh, screenshots of my trades. So the reason I got really popular on Twitter was in 2009, uh, I had a trade where I made over 100000 overnight on uh, DMDN. It was a biotech stock. You've seen some of these biotechs, how they move. Well, this was just in... Uh, right after the big market drop, and it was in April, and it was just I was just trading like I normally did. I uh, noticed something uh, different on the chart on the day. I noticed a volume spike. The next morning, uh, get up, I bought it around seven and change. The next day, it gaps up to, uh, whoops, to uh, 25 bucks. So I started selling it in pre-market. I sold some at 25 and then into $19. So I sold it most of it even before the market even opened. So by 9.30 in the morning, I was out of the trade. Okay, So I made uh, quite a bit, and a lot of people thought, how the heck is a guy going to make 100 grand overnight? And I had no intention, actually, to post my screenshot at the time, uh, but some guy actually just called me out, and he said, oh, you didn't make 100 grand? He goes, that's impossible. I said, well, yeah, I had, uh, <laughs> I had this many shares, and uh, it was an average position for me. But here, I'll, I'll post a screenshot. So I actually posted, and then all of a sudden, it just blew up. That so many people uh, checked that post and then and, uh, started to follow me. So initially, when you follow someone that does really well, and I would be as well, I'd be a little reluctant initially. Okay, I would say, well, maybe the guy got lucky. Maybe he just did, uh, he lucked out, and uh, and it worked out. And this was actually a lucky trade. But it wasn't, it wasn't anything different that I had done before. Okay, I knew the market was shifting. I actually hadn't traded much through 2008. But in the spring and from April on, that's actually when I joined Twitter. It was April 8th. And I started to post information like this. And uh, people appreciated that because they, they started to pick my brain. Oh, why did you pick it up then? And what made you sell it in pre-market? How did you know it was going to drop back? Because yeah, I looked at the history on the chart last time. It uh, did the same type of move. So without getting into all the details of it, it was just an average trade that I would do, and it just was lucky uh, to hit that much overnight. Okay, so a little bit of luck sometimes helps, but you don't want that to be your your strategy. You don't want a luck strategy in trading. That's not going to work for you. Okay. So after this DNDN trade. Uh, my Twitter account began, began to grow, like I said, by traders that are curious and skeptics, like people trying to find out, this guy just got lucky or can he do it again? Okay. 
So I've got st- many people now that still follow me. They've actually followed me for years from 2009. Some have never become a member of the group. They may come to Saturday webinars. They may come to a session like this, have never joined. Okay, They've, they've really missed out big time because I share quite a bit more than I do on the regular Twitter feed. And I'll get into that. Uh, so my trades kept going and profiting all the way from 2009 all the way to 2014 and into 2015 now. Okay, And I actually was... Uh, you could say I got lucky again, but I started to become more cautious. Uh, those of you that follow me for quite a while know that from last summer, where the trading was just so easy, and I had uh, two of my biggest months uh, uh, in quite a while. I had made over 100 grand, uh, 99 and 102,000 in just a month. Um, so that's a little bit above average for me. So you see like one abnormal trade, but I'm pretty consistent to make quite a bit each month based on my account size. And uh, the traders that are following me understood that I was racking up some nice profits, but I was also sharing when I had some failures. And uh, there's not a lot of traders on Twitter who actually do that, uh, that will actually tell you when they screw up. And I think that's an important thing, that you, whenever you're following someone, at least make sure that there's uh, a little balance in there, or at least when something's going wrong and they're not understanding that, at least they're telling you uh, uh, the full story on it. So I started to have more trades and people started to follow. So this is more screenshots that I used to post back then. So $25,000 a day, $23,000 a day. Okay. So it's very easy trading. We haven't had that, that trading as easy as we did in 2009, but I was prepared for that. I knew that once the market based out, um, that we'd have some really good trading. We did the same thing after 2011. Uh, we did the same thing after uh, the 2012 uh, little correction that we had. And did it again just with this recent drop in August. Okay, We did it last October with the drop. All the drops are a little bit different, but very similar at the same time. Okay. So how many different trades did I do? I did a bunch of different trades and uh, uh, hundreds of trades that uh, that uh, members have seen in uh, in real time, but some of those stocks there. There's actually uh, many, many more. Okay. My profits, not including 2009, because 2009, I thought, okay, I'll add 2009. I was going to add 2009 in there. The problem was, it's an odd year. I made a lot of money in 2009. I made over three million. Um, you know, I do have a little bit bigger account than a lot of traders. But I ended up helping a, 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 fa- a friend, a guy that I had grown up with. Uh, I We had taken his account from uh, 80000 and he had margin on that. And that year, he followed me on many of the same trades, but just smaller amounts. Not all of them. I just wanted to follow on, on a few of them. So I actually mentored him on how to trade and follow my trades. So he's actually following my live trades and uh, probing me for advice when he was having issues and saying, oh, what should I do at this position? Uh, he was doing a little bit of option trading as well. He ended up making over 300000 profit on an $80,000 account, which is very good. His goal was to make 200000 and he made over three. Uh, so he took the two hundred out that he wanted to use and then he traded with the rest of it. And he's still trading, not as active as he was that year, uh, but he's had some really nice, I talked to him not long ago, and he's kept some really nice trades uh, as longer term plays with some of the dividend plays that he got into, and they've done very well. Even with this market drop, he's obviously up a lot of money in the last six years. Uh, But in terms of the profits up until now, guys, uh, if we include 2009, I'm actually uh, well over... uh, uh, six million, but it's really what we can help you guys do. So don't worry too much about what I've been able to do. I just try to show you that I've done really well. I've gone up and down certain months, but as long as you continue to go up, even when you get drops like this, it's not going to affect you as badly. Okay, and that's one thing I think I've done very, very well in this market in 2015 is to become more cautious. So I was more cautious leading up into the year. Uh, my trades during the start of the year, I kept very tight stops. Some a little too tight because it cost me when they did bounce back up. 
But overall, uh, in hindsight, going back to it, I went through it. Uh, I was telling a trader in the chat uh, uh, the other night that I was going through my, uh, I like to always do a rundown of how things are going. And it's hard to say, like, if I kept trading the way I usually do, what would happen? And I know the way I am because I know my weaknesses in trading. I'd be down quite a bit of money. Okay, I'd probably be down more than half a million to probably 750000 with this market drop that we've had recently. But I could tell that we weren't getting great risk to the rewards. So if you check some of my older tweets, you'll actually see that, that pattern of messages that I keep posting out there. So I'm still trading, but not as active. And I got a little bit more aggressive August 24th, but not to a point where I'm not aware that we could drop further. Okay. So again, I'm just trying to show you here that uh, you can be a good trader, you can make mistakes, but you can get to the point uh, where I've been, okay? and maybe even beyond. It's really up to you. In terms of like your individual success, it's really initially not dependent on the money. It's dependent on your skill that you can develop and the people that have a good positive impact on your trading. If you can do that, and not just learn from me, but learn from other traders as well, and see which clicks best for you. Okay. Once you find that, the money is always there. And I've told this to, to people in the past where they've always used the issue of money as the, the, really the thing that's holding them back. And it's really not. Um, it's really having that skill set. Because if you were to get that money tomorrow, if I told you, okay, I'm going to give you 500000 to trade with tomorrow, most of you won't know what to do with that money. You might start buying stuff that you probably would never have bought before. So it gives you maybe a little bit more flexibility in that way, but you still have to have that talent. If not, you're just going to be losing more money. Okay? And that's an important thing that a lot of traders uh, uh, don't uh, look into. And a lot of books won't teach you this stuff. So I began to grow and get a lot of new followers. I attracted the, and surrounded myself with other traders that I found to be very good as well. So I've done that in business and I've done that in real estate in that I don't want to learn all by myself, right? I want to have other people around me that I can ask questions uh, to. So when I first got into real estate, I didn't know about real estate. So my friend's family, I knew that they bought and sold homes. So in the summer, we asked them, hey, can we come to the next one that you buy? Uh, just to see how you, how you do uh, your paperwork and stuff. And they thought that was odd. They said, yeah, sure, you can come. We're going to go meet the real estate agent to borrow on a property if you want to come with us. And we started to do that, me and my friend. And I was surprised that he didn't ask his parents, uh, but he was into business as well. And we actually did that. We actually helped him fix a few properties. And I saw how that process worked. So when I started buying, who did I ask for advice? I asked them because they had done it like so many times. They had probably bought and sold uh, over 150 properties at the time. Now they were much cheaper than they are today. Uh, but the concept was the same, same like with trading. Trading's different now, but the concepts and the strategies are very similar, even though now we've got uh, all the online trading, we've got all the high-frequency trading, the, the algos that kick in. How do you trade against these things, right? So there's things that the, uh, the traders that have been at this for a while understand. Okay, They understand the, their strengths and weaknesses. So same thing with... Uh, with business, I was fortunate that when I first got into business, I had a very good mentor, someone that had uh, sold their company for over $25 million. Uh, so that's the guy I want to learn from. And I was lucky that uh, uh, I was in business with, uh, uh, was with one of his kids. And I would just ask so many questions. Like every time we'd I'd have a chance to, to go to his house, I'd just ask him so many questions about business and how he got started and what did he learn? What was the worst uh, scenario that happened to him in business? How do you protect yourself uh, against people that just want uh, uh, to rip you off? And I learned so much from the guy. And then I was lucky that, uh, that he took me under his wing. And when I got involved in a bigger business, uh, he was there to, to guide me along the way. So I've had mentors that have actually helped me, and I mentor back. I don't mind to help. Oh, those, some of you know that even if you're not a member and you reach out and you actually email me a few times, I actually email you back and I'll give you information. Even 
even if you're not a member, because I know when I was young and starting out, I didn't have money. I didn't have all the information, but I had a thirst for knowledge. I, I knew I could go to the library and get information. You guys now can get all this information online. More information than you could ever dream about. Okay. But what does a mentor do? A mentor gets rid of a lot of that noise. Okay. And starts to put stuff in a little better perspective for you. Okay. So I constantly brainstorm with other traders of how the market's doing, what they're doing that's working. Okay. Uh, as you know, I do a lot of webinars. We do a lot of the Saturday webinars, Wednesday webinars for free. Um, we have our chat room, uh, we have the Twitter, uh, Facebook, uh, Skype, I don't really use that much, uh, but I should. And uh, But I prefer go to go to webinar, just, this is just so much easier than, than talking on Skype or, or via email. Okay. So I grew from zero followers to over 50,000 and uh, why did I do that? How, or how did I do that? Well, I was engaging with other traders. I actually answered their questions. Okay. And I actually tweet a lot. Okay. If you look at the, the stats, there's actually quite a few tweets. Uh, I don't mind sharing information every day. Uh, when I'm on holiday, you'll see that uh, I don't really tweet that much, but I still keep active on what the market's doing. Okay. And then our site began to grow. So we've got, uh, Hundreds of positive uh, member testimonials, reviews. Uh, you can actually do your own search, and that's a good thing to do. Search about Stock I-22. Uh, anybody you search on, make sure you at least find a few bad things. You know, you're not going to click with everybody, and that you should understand for any business. You know, some people don't like Coke. Some people hate Pepsi, right? So uh, you're going to find uh, there might be some people that maybe didn't click or that didn't sign, uh, sign uh up with us, but they have a review about the site, which they, some people I'm surprised how they do that, but sometimes it's a competitor, sometimes it's someone that doesn't like you or they, they hate that you're doing well and they're not, okay? But uh, read up and, and, and see what uh, you find out about us. You'll see that uh, we're very uh, uh, good about how we handle people and how we try to help them. And uh, I've inspired a lot of traders. A lot of traders have told me that they follow me for years and they they love the information that I that I post. Uh, some people just follow it once in a while, right? So some people are running a business or they or they uh, work for a living, so they can't read Twitter every day. So you're going to be like mixed about what you're reading about. But as long as there's consistency there over years, then you know that something's right. Okay. Or at least you can learn from that person. Uh, so like we said, we got over 200 plus reviews on our testimonials. Okay. Our sites had, uh, I think it, now it's about, uh, I should check the, the most recent stuff. But we've had like, uh, I think it's over 150,000 unique visitors now to the site. And maybe uh, 700 thousand page views. I'll get the the updated stats, but that was uh, those are older stats. But we had a lot of people visit our site. Most of it is organic traffic. We don't pay for traffic. We don't pay for for people to the site. Uh, it's all people that are actually searching for articles that the uh, old blogs that I might have done. Okay. But we had people from all different countries. We still don't have anybody from Cuba. <laughs> so and a few other countries. There's a few countries actually Either they have no internet access or, or they can't uh, connect. So, but we got a few countries that uh, we still don't have. So we're also rated too by Peer Index, Clout, uh, and we're seeing on many other sites. A lot of people use uh, my link and add me to a bunch of lists uh, for for different uh, trading uh, sites or trading information. Got a really high score on Clout. If you get a score. Uh, of, I think, 35 or 40 uh, is really good from what somebody told me. So what do you have with me? So you got uh, 
a dedicated, I don't say just me, I, I'm not the only one dedicated. We have a dedicated, passionate team. We have someone like Rob that does those Wednesday webinars consistently. What's he get out of it? He gets nothing. I don't pay him to do those. He's doing them because he enjoys it uh, the way I enjoy doing Saturday webinars. Okay. So he might make something when we're doing the uh, uh, the workshops, right? The, the um, option workshops. But you have people around you that are actually in the chat uh, every day and every week that are actually willing to help other people out. Are we talking all the time? No, we're not talking 24-7. But whenever there's something that uh, we want to discuss or a strategy or a play that we want to put in, I know I've got good people that I can rely on to ask their second opinion, ask their information, okay, and share the, the strategy that I've got on it. So I've been on Trader on uh, Twitter, Trader, Twitter, Twitter, Trader. I've been on Twitter since uh, April 2009. So really when the market started to turn, was that coincidence? No, I saw a lot of the patterns starting to take shape of the uh, markets and positions coming back up over the moving averages. To me, that was a key trigger, and that's why I started to get more aggressive during that time. And there was a lot of people that hated the market during that time because they still had the mentality of what happened in, uh, in 08 and into the start of 09. Okay, you'll get the same thing happening each time we get a market drop. Okay, so that's some stuff that we'll talk about at those uh, at the workshop. So I've got uh, over 30 years experience now in trading. Uh, with the other guys combined, we've got uh, quite a few uh, quite a few more years because uh, uh, both Jeff and Rob have been uh, at it for quite a while now. They've been with me through different market drops now and market runs. So, so they're uh, very knowledgeable about dealing with different markets. We have uh, hundreds of hours of uh, member videos on the sites, thousands of trades on our private feed, um, over 3,000 uh, charts now that I've analyzed, and most of the time when I'm analyzing them, I'm actually trading them. So it's trades that uh, uh, if I decide to get into a position, you'll actually see the chart and my strategy for it with a risk to reward analysis. Okay, so those of you that are members know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, if you don't, to me that's very important that a lot of traders miss out on. They don't know, number one, how to, how to analyze a trade, and they don't know what their actual goal is. They'll tell you, I just want to make money on it. Um, much different than having a set plan of what to do. Okay? Even if you're longer term on a trade, you should have an initial thesis or what that's going to be based on, which a lot of traders don't. So over 50,000 tweets, over 50,000 followers, uh, over 70,000, I think it's 100,000 unique visitors now to the site from uh, many countries. Our blog views have been visited uh, about half a million times now. And um, over, so I would say, 700,000 page views, chart analysis. And my reach, like with all the people that uh, follow me and that, that follow other people, uh, somewhere I read that it was a million plus total reach. So I just wanted to, this is just like a slide that just shows how it increases from one to a million, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So what service do we offer? We offer the chat room, the private feed, um, charting analysis on my trades. Uh, we stopped the bull and bear report. We used to do it, and uh, we just couldn't commit all the time. I was busy with another project. Um, the other guys were were also getting tied down uh, with being too busy. We used to do a weekly newsletter. Uh, we actually got uh, about 10 people that were actually disappointed that we stopped it, and we told them at some point we might start it again, but... We just couldn't commit uh, all the time between all the webinars and the trading and uh, and then to do that as well. It used to take us a good uh, five to ten hours a week just to put it together. But we do have the free trading webinar still and the one-on-one -on -one mentoring. So that's another option that if you are interested to work with someone like me or Rob, Rob's done it with a few traders uh, in the past uh, couple of years uh, that he's worked one-on-one uh, -on -one with where they actually review the trades on a consistent basis, strategies, okay? I haven't done that. I, I do the mentoring, but just to members only. And um, I might do that in the future. 
and I'll give you more information on that maybe at a, a later date. But right now, I couldn't. I'm I'm not able to do that. I'm involved in in a few other side projects, and I just could not commit to to do the one on one as well. That's where you'll learn the most, um, because then if we're able to interact on a weekly basis, just one on one, you can get quite a bit out of it. But I just can't justify it with my time uh, for that. So this is the uh, the uh, second portion where we can do the seven week one, where we're taking an hour each each week, and we're teaching you guys uh, uh, based on those uh, different uh, sections that we're going to talk about. So again, where I don't see myself as just one person like Stock Guy Twenty Two, it's really the other uh, guys that are helping me uh, with. Uh, with having the site, I definitely couldn't do it by myself. And having those guys behind me as a team actually really helps, and that's really what the group is all about. So it's actually one trader, uh, but I have other people around me that I actually talk to on a regular basis about my trades and about uh, what they recommend and what they suggest. Okay. So I really value their opinion. And this was a way that we thought to bring it together with uh, a mentoring session. So now let's go back to, if you are interested, what that webinar would be about or that uh, workshop. So as I put here, you fast track your success. So how do you fast track in your success? Well, as I mentioned before, regardless of what you're into, so think about it even as at school. Someone that's going to do a little bit better than, say you put two students together. One is pretty good, reads all the books, does all the assignments and and the uh, and the uh, work assigned. The other person has a, a mentor, okay, or a tutor, whatever you want to call it. Okay, but that's really what we are: mentors and tutors. And what do they do? They try to get the best out of you. What does a coach do? Someone can have all the talent in the world, but they don't have the right coach in sports. What happens? The best doesn't come out of them. So a lot of times you'll see these top uh, athletes. Who do they? Uh, give a lot of credit to their coach, right? Because the coach can help get the best out of them. They still need that raw talent, but they can bring it to another level. And the same thing, like I mentioned before, you first need your skill, your skill set. So it's not about the money. So disregard where you guys say, oh, I got a small account. Uh, I've got it to 50,000, but I'm stuck in this, in this uh, pocket. Okay. I can't seem to get over this hill. Okay. That's really all in your mind. Just be aware of that. Same thing with me. I never thought I'd be involved in so many different properties that I bought over the years. Okay. Initially, I was happy to buy my first investment property. Okay. Not thinking further out ahead. Once I got the knowledge, I could teach someone now how to how to properly buy and sell homes. Okay. Regardless which market it's in, because there's a lot of similarities. There's some markets that won't be good. It's almost like some stocks. Won't be good, but you can get lucky on them. But to create real wealth, there's certain things that you have to follow. Right? So try to apply it to something that you already know. Okay. So, so if some of you have been students or you've been involved in a certain business, what happens? Okay. Or even if you work for a company, even if you work for a company, you're a manager. Where are you going to learn the most? You're going to learn the most when a senior manager manager takes you under their wing and teaches you what they know. Okay. So you can learn all the stuff that you can out of the books. The other stuff, you really need a coach and a mentor. A coach and a mentor really does take you to the next level. Okay. So again, who are these people that are going to be doing it? So it's myself, uh, Jeff, who is Desert Drifter on uh, Twitter, and Stock Darts, Rob, which some of you know from the Wednesday webinars. If you don't, uh, go to the uh, to our YouTube channel. I'll go to it right now. If you want to hear a little bit about Rob talking about the markets, he really has a good uh, handle on understanding the markets. So listen to some of the past uh, videos. Okay, so it's the Wednesday webinars uh, that you'll see where he talks at. Okay. And I'll post the link for you here. So listen to a few, listen to half an hour or 20 minutes, whatever you can, 
whatever you can uh, hear. Uh, some of you already know me, but you can listen to some of the Saturday webinars, even the most recent Saturday webinar. Okay. Um, you notice that if you've ever attended some of you guys in here, I, I know that you've come to the Saturday webinars as well. Uh, I try to always teach something a little bit different. Okay. The workshop is a little bit more structured because we actually actually have set uh, uh, classes that we're going to do. Okay, with this is more geared to what the market did last week, and then uh, depending on what type of question somebody asked me, we might uh, touch on some stuff. Okay, but you can listen to some of this stuff with uh, with uh, Rob and myself. Okay, it's too bad that uh, Ticker TV is uh, is uh, closing down, but he had all his videos on there. So let me see if I can find that ticker TV. Whoops. TV backslash. Whoops. Got it set on my other computer. That was weird keyboard. What the heck? Ticker TV. Did it change keyboards or something? There we go. Okay, that should work though. Backslash. It was set to French. Stuck it hurts. So you can still listen to this, I think, until the uh, 9th or the, through the 15th. So he's got a, and I'll join him on those uh, Wednesday webinars. But he's got quite a few videos on here. Okay. That you can, uh, if you want to listen to him how he talked about different markets. And I always find someone like Rob, he's really good at uh, understanding even after big market drops, uh, what happened. He's been in the chat since uh, uh, before 2011. I actually met with him a few times. We've we've gone out to uh, dinner. He's from uh, Florida. So the times when I go down there, we actually have gotten together a few times. So that's it. So listen to those if you want. So that's who, who that is. And uh, uh, Jeff, he doesn't tweet a lot, but uh, amazing trader. Um, he's done a webinar with me on um, health stocks. He's got a lot of health stocks longer term, similar to, to my strategy. And uh, excellent trader. He does a little bit more complex uh, trades with, uh, whoops, got it on pause there. That's uh, the uh, Tigger TV, but that's going to be closing down soon. And uh, that was the uh, the... YouTube channel. Sorry, I must add it on pause. Okay. So, th so there's myself, Jeff, and uh, Rob that will be doing the uh, webinars. So we start October 19th, guys, three nights a week. All the webinars will be recorded and posted on a, on a special uh, site for you that you can actually access from now to whatever. Okay. So we actually have the people that took it to uh, a uh, few years back that can actually still access all those videos uh, from that time. Okay. So if you miss something or you miss a webinar uh, for one evening, you actually can go back and listen to them. We usually upload it by the same evening or by the next morning. It'll be up. Okay. And we'll also have backups so we don't lose any. So you're going to get a minimum of at least 30 hours of live webinars. Uh, it's going to be interactive, so it's like one of a kind um, uh, teaching, so it's not just straight out of the book like we're doing. We're actually interacting with you guys as well with the Q and A and getting you to do some uh, uh, homework assignment as well. Okay, I know some of you don't like homework, but this is a good thing because it's going to help you make money further down the road. You'll get the whole mentoring package, so you'll have access to all the slides and the course outline and everything. Okay, and all of the webinars will be recorded and accessed. To, to can access the people that have actually taken it before we actually allowing them to take this one uh, so they'll take this one for free same thing will apply to the, the people that sign up for this one uh, you'll be able to take any future ones that we have okay for the uh, for the mentoring workshops so what kind of topics are we going to discuss we're going to discuss your individual trading plan and we're going to help, help set you up on the right track with that not just for the one that uh, you might have listened to, uh, that I have on the site um, but also how Jeff and Rob do theirs as well. You may find you might click with both of them. 
And then if you want to decide to work with them a little bit closer, you actually can. Okay. It's going to be geared to your own trading style. So not just based on, uh, okay, you have uh, 40,000 that you want to trade with. Okay, here's uh, put uh, 3,000 into each trade. It's going to be more geared to, okay, I only have this much time a day to dedicate to trading. I actually work for a living. Uh, I run a business for a living. Your strategy is going to be a little bit different. Okay? You're not going to be able to do intraday trades. You're not going to be able to do uh, uh, shorter-term trades, like very quick uh, quick uh, scalps and stuff. Okay, So you got to gear that towards your own trading style. That's an important. We, we spend uh, an evening talking just about this kind of stuff. Uh, that trading journal. Some of you don't even know what a trading journal looks like. We're going to actually show you all of ours. Uh, some of you may have never have seen mine. Uh, or Jeff's or Rob's, but we all have a trading journal. We actually didn't know that we all had one because when we first did the uh, the course, we knew that we were different types of traders. Uh, but the more we worked on the on getting the agenda together and doing all the slides, we found out that we all had uh, different trading journals. Like we had s similar ones, but a little bit different. But all top traders you'll find will have that. And if you're not sure how to do one, this is a great uh, thing for you to get set up and do it properly. And tell you, we'll tell you all the things that uh, we put in it and how it helps us. Uh, money management, obviously, we'll be discussing that. Uh, charting, some of the best uh, chart setups that we like. Um, the good thing about this uh, webinar is uh, we talk about market drops and how not to be afraid of them, but to welcome them with open arms, because that's where some of your easiest money is going to be made. And we'll have this past uh, market drop to discuss. And I'll tell you what I did during that time. And uh, we can actually go through that in detail. And fundamental analysis, options, psychology of trading. So we've got quite a big plate of stuff that we're going to discuss. And if you like the Saturday webinars that I do or webinars like this, that, where I try to keep things very simple, because uh, I understand how, that's how I learn. And you'll find that the same thing, that I, we keep those very simple but very powerful in terms of like the information that you're going to come out of, come out of it with. Okay. So now back to uh, why having a mentor. Okay, what does a mentor even do for you? So I discussed quite a few different things that mentors do, but they give you that competitive advantage over other traders, right? We're all pretty well equal, but the ones that have someone behind them as part of their team are going to end up doing a little bit better than the traders who are just trying to learn from their mistakes, okay? And there are people out there that are willing to help you, like myself, okay? Now, can we help everybody? No. So what do we do? We have to limit it either to members or to people that take a course like this. Now, the last time we did this course, it actually sold out, guys. We offered a, um, a uh, early bird special. We actually sold out uh, before we even got to the to the third to the third week of uh, the presentation uh, of the we're we're going to do a number of these webinars. So I, I was going to do another one next week and another one the the following week. Uh, but the people that can meet commit sooner, uh, if you like what we do and you and you're willing to sign up, we offer a five hundred dollar discount. So at least that helps you save a little bit. It's still going to be a uh, a big amount that you're committing to, uh, but. Uh, we try to make it a little bit easier for you, okay, with that uh, $500 off, okay. Now, people thought I was joking when I said we're going to be, last time I said we're going to be limited to the number of people because if you have a certain number, it's easier to work with a small group. If you have too big of a group, it's hard to answer everybody's questions and then you go, you run over and uh, it's not good for anybody because people's attention spans are not three, four or five hours long for each uh, session. So we actually cut off the uh, the signups. So there was actually three people that wanted to sign up afterwards, and we had to tell them no. So we said, well, just wait for the next one. We'll do it next year. And uh, uh, we'll do the same thing this time. If we get enough people, we're actually going to stop the the uh, uh, the number of people that sign up. Okay. So I'm serious when it comes to that. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll, do, we'll have the same thing happen again. But you'll definitely get a ton of information out of it. You'll have the, us there that are committed to helping you guys get better as traders. You'll be able to 
DMs at any time during the day, or so it's not like we're just going to be offering you the workshop and then that's it. Uh, you can DM me all year long if you want. Okay, that's uh, not too many people are going to offer you that in terms of that. So if you get stuck on a position or you're not sure what to do, uh, you'll be able to have access to me. Okay. Uh, and if I'm not in a trade, I usually respond pretty quick. Okay. Someone like Jeff or Rob, they'll give you detailed information on, on a certain trade. So say you wanted to do an option play or a hedge on a certain position. If you've taken a course with, uh, with uh, Rob, always willing to help out. That's what I really like, uh, like about him and uh, Jeff. They're similar in my mindset and uh, they understand how important it is when you are uh, a little bit new to trading or you don't have all your skills yet, but you're an okay trader to get you to the next level to bounce ideas off guys like this where it can save you thousands and thousands of dollars. Just sometimes even on one trade that you make a mistake. Uh, we had uh, one trader probably saved them over 50000 on one mistake he was going to do. And I knew the guy was making a big mistake and I wasn't uh, going to give him the advice on the options because the other guys are so much stronger at options information. And the guy would have blown up a big amount the way he was structured. I said, wait a minute. I go, let me put you in touch with uh, Jeff or Rob because he was available. And they were able to meet with the guy like within 15 minutes. Rob was in the chat. I said, can you do a quick webinar with this guy? Because he's going to get himself in a lot of trouble. And uh, he was able to do that. That's one thing that you'll have uh, with these guys that, that we don't even share outside the group. If you're part of the group, you'll actually have access to these guys. If you're not, you're probably not aware of that. So I'm telling you that tonight, that uh, you're getting a structure underneath you of someone that you can uh, bounce uh, an idea off when you're stuck. And that's really when you might need it. Okay? Or if you're panicking at a time when the market was crashing and you didn't know who the heck to respond to, to say, hey, what's going on here? Like, what should I be doing? Okay? Uh, we'll be there for you guys. Okay? Now, if we have too many, then I can't, that's going to cut into my, tra my trading time. So that's why we need to sort of like limit it, if you can appreciate that. And then in terms of the cost, so what's the cost? To get access to this and to get uh, seven weeks with us, uh, how expensive is it? Well, you're going to probably lose this on one trade that goes bad against you, depending on your size of your account, or you might uh, blow up that in a year, okay? Depending, if you have a small account, I've seen guys with a 10,000 account blow three grand very easily. That's very avoidable, okay? So uh, the cost is twenty nine eighty five. You can do early bird sign up if you sign up by, uh, I guess it's this, uh, uh, not this Sunday, the next Sunday. And then we'll cut it off there uh, for the early bird. So it'll be until next Sunday. You can lock up your seat with uh, uh, 500 bucks if you want. If you're not sure, not sure how you're going to pay it or whatever, and that's where we'll work with you as well. If you find, oh, I don't have that much in PayPal, or I, I could put it on my credit card, but i gotta, I got to add some money to my PayPal account uh, or however you're going to pay. Um, just email us and let me know, right? We've had people do it with... Uh, uh, checks, or if they needed uh, a few payments, we actually had a few people where we actually let them pay it over the course of the uh, over the course of the mentoring weeks. So they would do uh, uh, a payment every three weeks. Okay, so one initial payment and then uh, two more payments. So if you need to break it up like that, you can do that as well. Okay, just to ask, and whatever you're stuck in anything, guys, you lose nothing by asking. Okay. That's one thing I've learned in, in business and in, in, uh, in, uh, in life in general. When you're not sure, ask, because you never know what somebody can do for you. Okay. So if you are interested, email us. Uh, you'll be getting a, a link with this uh, video and then the sign-up uh, information as well on it. Okay. But if you're interested to sign up uh, tonight, we can do it tonight. Just email me, and then I'll check the emails later on. Uh, and I'll give you the information. I'll send you the uh, the, uh, the billing information of how to pay if you have a PayPal account. Now, PayPal also has that six months. So you actually can do it through them, equal payments over six months, and you pay no interest. So that's the other way you can do it. Okay. So you've got about a week to decide. If you're definitely going to commit to it, 
uh, sign up, so at least you get your spot and it's uh, and it's uh, secured. You'll definitely learn a lot. You'll have my commitment that uh, we'll be there to help you out, and not just for the seven weeks, but uh, for the rest of the year. Okay. So I find people that are willing to commit uh, to something have have a passion that they want to learn and get better. And uh, to me, that's uh, that's the people I want to actually spend more time with. Okay. Not just because they're they're paying for the course, but also they'll be they have more at risk. Okay, so they're not just going to throw money around to just uh, to try their best. But we'll definitely save you that in your future trades. Uh, many people have told me that they, they've saved much more than that, and you'll see that there'll be people at this webinar that have taken it before. Why are they taking it before? Or, I mean, why they're why are they going to take it again if they've already taken it before? Because they know we always try to offer more information, more advice. And they know that they learn from them. Okay, so some of the people that have attended have actually signed up for everything that we've ever done: workshops for options for. They're part of the the group. Why are they doing that? Because it helps them. They have to still justify it as they're making something out of that investment. If they're not, then either we're not doing a good job or they're not following the advice we're giving. Right. So the people that do take it serious, guys. Uh, have actually done very, very well with the site. Yeah. So maybe next week, uh, if some of you are still on uh, the fence with it, I'll put some of the testimonials from the people from last, that, that took it last time, so you can see what they thought about it. But great testimonials. Uh, the majority are actually going to be there uh, this time around. Okay. So there will be a mix of new and old uh, uh, students. So if you want to email... Email me at uh, either frank at stockguy22.com. It'll pop up once we finish this webinar tonight. Or mentoring at stockguy22.com. If you want to talk to either Jeff or Rob as well, then you can do that. But that's about it for this uh, for tonight, guys. I try to keep it short, about an hour. Okay. If you have any questions, I'll take a look at them now. If not, we can call it a, uh, call it a night. Any questions about any of this, guys, or about trading in general? Now's your time to ask. And you'll be able to listen to this again. I'll uh, I'll be uploading the video uh, to the actual go to webinar servers, and you'll get a link uh, with that as well. So you just have to log in again and you listen. You can listen to the video if you missed part of it or you want to hear something again. But I hope uh, you learned something tonight. One, of why pick someone like me to help uh, mentor you. Uh, two, the team that's going to be helping you out, which uh, I respect and admire. And I brought them for information every day. And I know the traders that they've helped uh, from the group. And the different things that we'll be reviewing uh, during our seven weeks together. Wow, no question. So I either did a great job or some of you didn't hear me. Did you turn your speakers on? <laughs> Maybe it answered everything you want to know. Most of you are still here that, that, that came in from earlier on. Okay, so if there's no questions, guys, I'll call it a, a night. Uh, we might do this again next weekend, and I, I might have Jeff and Rob in with me next weekend, next uh, Thursday. Okay. And you might get an email for that as well because you signed up for this one. So to remind you, if you don't want to attend uh, again, uh, you can just disregard it. But if you want to attend again and hear Jeff and Rob, then uh, you're welcome to do that as well. You can see what, the, what they're going to be uh, discussing. Thanks and have a good evening. <laughs>